Snake number six on the Circle Center's top 10 countdown favorite animals. Guess what? It's the Arutu. Bangs in your face. Subscribe now. Okay, snake number six on Venom Central's Serpent Center top ten favorites, of course, is the Arutu. And I'll tell you, we love our Arutus, and we keep a large number of them. This is an animal that we breed pretty readily here in captivity, and I'll tell you why. A 100 milligram vial of live flies venom of the Rhinoceros alternatus, which is the Arutu, take a wild guess on how much it goes for. Now this is how medically significant this snake is to medical science. $617. That's not much, okay, <laughs> for $617. But you gotta factor in all the work that goes into play to get that 100 milligram live flies purified venom, okay? So that's why we breed this snake readily here in captivity. the babies from last night everybody is shed already nice and shiny and new but we love our root tubes you see it is one of the most gorgeous snakes in the world I mean they're often returned referred to as the half moon viper but formerly these were Bothrops they were in the lancehead species but this one is now classified in the rhinocerophus Genius. So it's Rhinocerophus alternatus, but I still call them Bothrops. <laughs> but anyways, this is one of our adult females, and we have several pretty good sized ones. And the males and females are a little different. The males are kind of smaller. They look identical, but they're smaller. Females are quite a bit bigger. But this is a very venomous snake. This this snake has got it's got a crazy venom. Uh, the venom is actually it's it's highly hemolytic. But it's also what we call, it's got a cardiotoxic, okay? And often bite victims go through a lot of renal failure. And later on in life, they end up with some kind of kidney failure and things like that. But, but the venom is, it's mild toxic, it's hemolytic, it's procoagulant. And now check this out. It's also anticoagulant. It works on both spectrums. It actually turns your blood into goo but you still bleed out. So it's a serious player and it's a very venomous snake. And let me tell you, they can be cranky. That's why you see me, I've got a good space here and I've got my big hook here. And these snakes are known to explode. They'll go from this very calm state to just from zero to 60 like that, okay? And I'm trying not to move around a bunch here, jump around, wave my arms around, but this snake is a very dangerous animal but it's a very medically significant animal. That's why we breed these every year. Labs are always in request form. And now that Venom Central and the Serpent Center, we are going to be opening our own venom lab. We are gonna need a lot of these different snakes for our venom production line. You know, and the root tube is, this snake is, it hails from South America, okay? It ranges from Brazil down to Argentina. And there are no true subspecies of a rutu um the rutu is the rutu but they can look different from different locales they, they, they can look a little bit different like i've got some that are kind of brown and silver and i've got some that are really black and white but they can often look different in appearance like we just had a baby born that's almost striped it's really neat looking but um but i tell you they're that they're really variable when it comes to color but but they are definitely a gorgeous snake. And that's kind of like your stock looking Arutu right there. That, that, this is a really pretty one, but 
she's kind of more on the dark side and got a lot of black in her and a lot of silvers. But what a gorgeous animal, right? I mean, what a gorgeous, gorgeous snake and highly venomous snake. I mean, it's it's definitely not one to take lightly. You see, I keep my I keep my distance here because she can go like that. <laughs> she can pop like a bottle rocket. Let me tell you, <clears throat> and bites. Bites can be fatal from an Arutu. It's a serious bite. A lot of people that suffer a bite from an Arutu later on in life, if they survive it, they end up with some kind of kidney problems. And, and it's got to do with its venom. And it, it, it just does different little things that we just quite don't understand yet. So a lot of studying going on about the Arutu. And this is why we breed these pretty, pretty readily here. And it's a very important snake to the to the Serpent Center and, and the medical science. We're, we want to be able to offer what a lot of other Serpentariums can't right now because we are breeding these things pretty steady. So we want to be able to have to have a good supply of Arutu and be able to produce a lot of Arutu life alive venom. And it's a whole process to do that and it takes time. So, but we're on our way. We're, we're, we're definitely heading in the right direction because we will be an operational venom lab by this time next year. That is number six on my list of favorite animals. I love my Rutus. They are just a neat snake, but what a cool animal, right? And I'll tell you, it's it's a pleasure to work with them and learn about them. And I learn more every year. Every year I produce more and more of them, and I learn more about them every year. I recently just had one, and this happened during the move while we were moving into the new facility. She literally had a virgin birth. I mean, she literally had two babies in the tub while we were transporting her here. I checked her the next day, I was starting to unpack snakes, and there were two babies in the tub. And it was a female that had never been in with a male. Never been in with a male, a parthenogenic bird. So of course I kept them two babies because they are awesome. <laughs> and they were big, they were big babies. And the rest, there was no slugs, nothing, just two perfect babies. It was, it was really neat, but a parthenogenic bird. And I've been doing videos on Parthenogenic Burr, but we had it happen with the Arutu. How cool is that? So I'm writing a whole paper on that. But, and we didn't do a video on it because my paper is going to have a lot of information in it that we're going to try to get published. So, but very neat stuff. Hey, and we are doing really well on our campaign, our, our, our 10K in 10 days. And let me tell you all. With, with the 10 days thing, we might go to 10, 12 days because let me, we had no internet at all on Saturday afternoon into Sunday. And it, it's, it's been challenging. We are on a march, okay, to get the Serpent Center viewing room, the actual exhibit room open, phase one. We are at $5,100 on our scale. We are a little more than halfway there. Thank you so much. And I'm going to tell you, I, I want everybody to know that this is going to be an educational exhibit. Venom Central is all about education. The Serpent Center is all about education. To educate a lot of young minds on herpetology and on animals and on our natural world. Also, for our first responders, for our firemen, for our soldiers. Now, this goes for any first responder, any soldier. Their admission will always be free to the Serpent Center. I will never take a red cent from a soldier or from a first responder. After you sign up for a job to risk your life, to protect our freedoms, this country needs to treat you better. And I love our soldiers and we support our troops. Your admission will always be free. We greatly appreciate you guys and we'd love to have you visit, okay? Hey, we're halfway there and our march is on. So we, <laughs> if we have better internet service, we can do it in 10 days. But hey, if, if, to everybody who's donated, to, every, to all the contributors, thank you so much. We are at our halfway mark. And if you can't contribute in one way, you can contribute in another way. I mean, sharing these videos, I mean, it, it's a big help. If you can contribute, buy a brick, $10 to buy a brick. And get your name on the wall of fame, and it'll be here forever. Okay, and like I said, this is for a good cause. This is for an educational facility. There are no rich herpetologists. There are no rich teachers. And that's a whole nother bugaboo of mine is teachers because teachers don't get the respect they deserve and they do not make the money they deserve. They're building our, they're building our future with these young minds. You know what I mean? So 
to all you teachers out there, thank you for what you do. We're trying to create an atmosphere here of learning. So if you want to help donate to the Serpent Center, email us. If you want to sponsor an exhibit build, if you want to sponsor an animal, if you want to buy a brick, email us. We greatly appreciate any kind of contribution. So how about the root tube? That's a neat snake, isn't it? Gorgeous snake. But Dina calls them the designer Louis Vuitton snake <laughs> because of the patterns. <laughs> but anyways, hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that V logo thing and subscribe now and come check us out at the Serpent Center. This is Willie from Down Central. We're checking out later.